I'm Sunny Valencia. Currently, I'm the president of Live Entertainment Arts and Festival Awards. I've been a cultural worker since I joined PETA in 1976 when we have theater productions we go to several workshop venues and actually study and have an immersion for the roles that we are going to play so i would consider a cultural worker back then i consider myself one of the cultural workers because we take care we find out the problems of different kinds of people in different provinces in different professions. We have been immersed, particularly for myself, in San Antonio, Nueva Ecija, Papaya, Nueva Ecija. I also went to Malabon, Navotas, for the immersion for the uh, fish workers, and of course, the squatters area in Tondo, where I've been immersed because I grew up there. I'm actually a photojournalist. I was, I've been a cultural worker since the Marcos era. I met Sunny and Eddie at PETA, the Philippine Educational and Theater Association. My name is Ed Bagay. I also started in theater early early but officially went in to PETA in 1974. We were sponsored there by, by the PINA fathers from Tondo and then started working there and then discovered by René Rikin, went to PETA in 74, took theater arts. After that, I kind of like specialized in community theater so I went to a lot of squatters area and organized cultural groups. After that, I became a composer and actor for TV, movie, and film. International Theatre Institute Philippine Center. Of course, we're theater oriented and we use actually the arts, the dance, we use films, we use theater, we use music, we use the visual arts, painting, and with them we try to we compose songs in theater, we try to create movements, we try to dramatize. We dance at the same thing and using the sustainable development goals of the United Nations, we try to use this to make it simpler. Whereas if we use arts, it's easier to understand. We move around, we dance, and then we say, oh, that's how we try to strengthen your spirit. sustainable development goals of the United Nations. We try to focus on each of them and cluster it. So we're concentrating on act, actually on the people uh, cluster where they try to experience injustice, uh, inequality, and we try to motivate them to raise their lives, give them encouragement because Life is really so good. Two days syllabus. Like with the ATAS, they cannot just accept someone who goes there and try to derive information for them. Or some people just go there and tell them what to do with their lives. Because we have to accept them as they are. I 
going back to the Philippines from Australia, I favor this work more than what I do there. In here, it actually lifts my spirit because trying to, like right now today, we're trying to rebuild the lives of these Marana women and trying to give them motivation to enhance their life, livelihood. This is a big opportunity for us to be able to do that. Not the, the usual theater, city bread, you know, theater group, but this is the actual theater of life of the Filipino people. Because indigenous people are the real original people of our country. using arts and media to repair what have they have experienced instead of arms and missiles that they are also afraid of. So we try to re revolutionize the cultural caregiving and try to implement arts, culture, and the media to help them actually develop their lives right now.